<laughs> Here he is, Speck Road. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, it's my time. Yes, it is your time. It's a pretty song, boy. Thank you. You look beautiful today. Ain't I dressed up? up? Yeah. Yeah, we've been out taking care of Uncle Soak and Toby Jug again. Uh-oh. Last night, oh. Uncle Soak got, oh, he got drunk on these every being, I reckon. No kidding? I asked him, I said, why in the world did you have to drink the whole bottle all at once? He said, I couldn't help it. I lost the cork. Uh. <laughs> he was at the house when I saw him, Porter. Uh -huh. He was up at the house, he was on the porch, and he was trying to get the door open. See, and he fumbled it. I stood there watching him for a few minutes and seen he wasn't going to get in. I got up, I said, give me the key, and I'll open the door and let you in, Uncle Soak. He says, you go, I can handle this key, all right. He says, you just hold this house steady for me. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that awful? <laughs> oh, Hey, you're going to do a rock and roll song. Yeah, we got a movie star here, and he might like to hear a little of this rock. All right. <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hound dog, Jack. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Strutting all the time, man. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Strutting all the time, man. You ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. Oh, he said you was high class. Well, that was just lie. Oh, he said you was high class. Well, that was just Never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. He ain't nothing but a hound dog, crying all the time. He ain't nothing but a hound dog, crying all the time. He ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Oh, you said you was high. You said you was high class. Well, that was just lie. You ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. And now it's time to meet the old boy that we all enjoy each week on the show. <laughs> Let's make you welcome the one and only Speck Road, Jacob! <laughs> oh, oh boy! Oh, I've been telling you, Porter, we've really got a good-looking bunch of girls here in the studio today, haven't we? Yes, we sure have. Just look at them sitting out there, a whole house full of them. Yes. So many pretty girls out there just look like a big flower garden. Yes, it does kind of look like a flower yeah, garden. Yeah, just a great big flower garden, so yes. many pretty girls. Of course, there's a weed now and then long in it. <laughs> That's good, Speck. <laughs> I want to sing a song entitled, I'm a plain old country boy, but you couldn't tell it by looking at me. I'm a plain old country boy. That's one thing sure as you hate them folks to think that there's that burn high pollutant. I'd be the same in Hollywood, right in my own kitchen. I believe in fussing when you're mad and scratching when you're itching. Every time that preacher come, all the specks to chicken. If I reach for the drumstick, I was sure to get a licking. She always saved two parts for me, but I had to shut my Chicken flying south. I'm a plain old country boy, a cornbread loving country boy. I raise cane on Saturday, but I go to church on Sunday. I'm a plain old country boy, a biscuit eating country boy. I've been looking over the old gray mule when the sun comes up on Monday. Plain old country boy, that's you mighty nice, that big message. Now here's an old boy that I always have a lot of fun out of, and I know you folks love him as I do. Let's make him welcome, Speck Rhodes. Come on out here, Speck Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, 
yourself a little bit sleepy tonight. I went over to Sadie's house last night and sat up a while, you know. Oh, did you? Yeah, me and her was sitting there in the front room on the settee in there watching television. Oh, yes. Yeah, we sitting, and I put my arm around her. We sitting there, you know, and I started to kiss her, and she wouldn't let me. She wouldn't? No, she wouldn't let me kiss her. Oh, well, I guess that was before the folks had turned in, wasn't it? Yeah, that's before they went to bed. I see. Yeah, you can never have, never tell how a girl's going to turn out till the old folks turn in. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Son, <laughs> listen, you ought to have to sleep at the foot of the bed. That's you what you? I'm going to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you ever sleep at the foot of the bed when the wind was the wind was cold? Whistling around the house in the moon with the gallery of gold. You gave me good warm mattress up to Aunt Lizzie and no spray. Too many kin folks on the bad winter night, so you went to the foot of the bed. I did it over and over again in the land of the brave and free. But in this all part battle of life, it's left its mark on me. That's why I'm a struggling around its foot instead of forging ahead. Oh, well, I don't think it's called from the dog. Sleeping at the foot of the bed. All right, Bob. They say some folks don't know what it is to have company all over the place. The rats will cover on a winter night with the big foot setting in your face. The cold, cold nails scratching your back and the footboard scrubbing your head. I'll tell the world you ain't everything that was sleeping at the foot of the bed. It's fine enough when the kid folks come and the kid brought the brand new game. You can see how bad all the old folks were to learn all the baby's name. We had biscuit and cutlet and chicken pie, we all got Sunday face. But I knew right well when night time come, I was going to the foot of the bed. Hey! Good night, Irene! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good, Speck. Thank you a lot, boy.